Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. The problem which we are going to see today is to find the missing number. So in this problem you will be given n minus 1 integers and these integers will be in the range of 1 to n. There will be one integer will be which will be missing in the list and also there will be no duplicates in the list. So from 1 to n there are total n integers but you will be given only n minus 1 integer. So one integer out of this will be missing and you basically have to find that integer. Okay, so uh, let us first understand the problem with the example and then we'll look at the solutions. So suppose we are given this array, then uh, we have to find the missing element here. So we, are, we, we do have one here, two, we have three here, four, 5 is not here, 6, 7 and 8. So 5 was missing here and that is our output. So you basically have to find the missing number. So next, uh, let's look at the uh, first solution. So the method one will be using the uh, sum formula. So we know that the sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. So we will be using this formula. So in the first step of this algorithm, we calculate the total value as n into n plus 1 by 2. And then we subtract all the elements of the current array one by one from this sum value. So after uh, you, have, uh, you have subtracted all the elements of the array from this value, uh, you will only be left with the missing number. So let's see uh, how it works in the code. Uh, okay, so we have a driver function here. Uh, we, we declare the input array here then we uh, basically here we are calling the get missing number function which is the uh, whole crux of the algorithm it returns of the variable miss and then we basically print the miss variable let's see how get missing number is working so it takes as an argument the array and the array size note that the uh, n is uh, the current size of the array but after we include the missing element the size will be n plus 1 so that is why when we are cal calculating total in our uh, code we are actually not using n into n plus 1 by 2 we are incrementing the value of n by 1 so that is why we are using n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 2 so note that although we are passing the value 5 here because we are having five elements effectively it will calculate the sum of first six n natural numbers so after we are done with this step, uh, we basically, uh, as per the algorithm, uh, subtract all the elements of the array from the sum value and then whatever we are left will be our missing number. So that comes here and we basically print it. The time complexity of this solution will be order of n because we are iterating over all the elements only once. Okay. So uh, let's look at the uh, second solution. So this method will be uh, will be using uh, XOR. So uh, what this algorithm says is uh, XOR all the element array elements and let the result of XOR be X1. Okay, so then XOR all numbers from 1 to n. Okay, so all natural numbers till n and let XOR be X2. Then we basically XOR X1 and X2. And the result of x1, xoring x1 and x2 should give us the missing number. Let's see how this works. Okay, so suppose we have an array which has elements a1, a2, and a4. We, we don't have a3 in the array. So the x1 will become a1, x or a2, x or a4. That is what we do in the first step then a2 will become the xor till a4 a1 to a4 so a1 xor a2 xor a3 xor a4 okay now uh, let's do an xor between x1 and x2 as per the uh, third part of the algorithm so we basically effectively do this so we are xoring uh, this uh, a1 xor a2 xor a4 with a1 xor a2 xor a3 xor a4 so we can group these uh, numbers here like this 
so only a3 will not have a partner else everyone will have the same partner then there's a property which says that a number doing xor with itself is zero so uh, a1 xor a1 will be zero similarly for a2 and similarly for a4 now uh, zero xor zero will be zero then zero xor a3 will be a3 and a3 xor zero will be a3 so in the end we are left with a3 which was missing in this uh, first array great so that uh, that was the uh, proof of concept here now let's look at the code so we will be using the same driver function here okay so let's understand this function here so same input arguments so here x1 so this will contain the xor of all the elements in the array x2 will contain the xor of uh, all the elements from 1 to n plus 1 note that again we are doing xor from 1 to n plus 1 and not n here because right now the size is 5 the size of the array is 5 but if uh, but it should be n plus 1 after including the missing element okay so here we are doing the xor of the x1 with all the array elements and we initialize it with the first value uh, as for the second loop uh, we are doing the xor of all the elements from 1 to n plus 1 so that is what we are doing here and finally as per the third step of the algorithm we are returning the value x1 x or x2 which will be basically returned to miss variable which we can print here again the time complexity of this solution is order of n uh, because even though we are running two loops but they are running one after the another so the time complexity is order of n so in this uh, tutorial we basically discussed two methods uh, both of those methods did the job in order of n so which one is better uh, actually method two is better why because uh, method one in method one the sum could go beyond the maximum allowed integer in case the array is uh, very big so uh, then uh, there can be an integer overflow problem and thus we may not get the correct answer but uh, method 2 is free from any such problems and it will definitely give you the correct answer each and every time that is all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link to uh, to, to, to see basically the all the material used in this tutorial and also run the uh, code which we discussed in the ID on the website itself. Thank you very much.